Hello, my viewers, my students, and my followers. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing well. Sure, I believe you must be doing well. You get it. Then, today I have brought you a very sad good news again. You know, I'm always coming to you with good news. And I'm always here to show you that there are some certain things that you need to do to be doing well in life as far business is concerned. And I know this particular good news that I have brought to you today is of a very vital form, very necessary, very important to you. If only you can apply the principle and work on it seriously with an abundant mindset being focused towards achieving your goals. Before we go into the good news that I brought to you today, run your business smoothly with nine tips. There are business tips on how for you to be doing well as far as your business is concerned. But before we go into that, I want to make an appeal to you that if today this video is your first video that you are coming across as far as this channel is concerned, please endeavor to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up and make a comment below for us to know what you are thinking about. And if you have some challenges, some issues that your business is facing, endeavor to drop it below on the comment section for us so that we will tackle it together. It is absolutely free of charge. And if you have been watching videos from this channel and you have not subscribed, please endeavor to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Equally give a thumbs up. Drop a comment below for us to know what you are thinking as far this channel is all about because this is a channel where we talk about business, how to start your business, how to grow your business, how to expand your business, how to consolidate your business, how to manage your business. We equally talk about, as far as this channel is concerned, financial advice to services. And we equally talk about asset management. And we equally talk about water production, what management, and food item supply globally. And thank God for his grace, I will be going for a business consultation on how to set up water production company in Nigeria by his grace. And so... The good news that I have brought to you today, run your business smoothly with nine tips. That is the good news I brought to you today. Listen and listen very well. They are helpful to managing your business. I'm going to run through them because I, I have to go for that business meeting immediately after this video. And so number one, Plan, make plan, and really plan well. Make plan, and really plan well. Most reason why 96 entrepreneurs fail in their business within the first year is because they don't plan well. Not that they don't plan at all. They make plans, but they don't plan well. And so this particular tip number one, Run your business smoothly with nine tips. Number one, make sure you make your plans and really make those plans very well that will help what your business. Number two, set smart goals and achieve them strategically. Yes, set smart goals and achieve them strategically. Yes. If you are running your business or you are trying to start your business or you are already operating that business, you need to plan your smart goals strategically. You need to have a strategic template plan. Do you get that? 
as far your business is what is concerned, to execute all the business tasks you have on that day, on a day-to-day basis, weekly basis, and monthly basis, you make sure your strategic template plan is ahead of that particular task. Assuming you are to, to visit a place for business discussion, you need to plan that ahead of the day that you're going to do it. That is what I mean. Set your smart goals and achieve them strategically. And you mention your business goals that you are setting. They have to be smart of each goal. It has to be smart. It has to be measurable. It has to be realistic. It has to be time-bound and achievable. Did you get that? That is what I am saying. And if you know your goals has to be, you need to break them down into smaller units of which it will help you to achieve them as at when you. Number three, invest in your employees and yourself. Yes, it's one of the tips that you will use to run your business smoothly. You need to invest in your employees and your particular self. You need to go for trainings. You need to go for seminars. You need to go for workshop in terms of that particular tax or the department or the unit you are as far the business is concerned. If you are an accountant, you need to go for trainings, more trainings. You need to go for more seminars in order for you to boost your ability and capability, capacity to do what? To, to discharge your duty your routine duty strategically to be proved on yourself. Did you get that? That's what I mean by invest in your employee. And then when you, at every quarter, as far the business operation is concerned, all on a yearly basis, you need to take appraisal. Any of your employees that is doing well, that person needs to be appraised very well. Do you get that? And you have to motivate your staff so that they can do well, stay on the job. Do you get that? Yeah, that's what I mean. Then number four, stay organized. You make sure all your tax, your routine job, and even your mindset is being organized towards what you are doing, towards the focus, the objectives, or the goals of the business. You need to stay what? Organized. Number five, improve your technology. If you are using, for example, updated laptops, updated computers, and other technologies that the business requires to discharge the duty to enable the employees to function very well. You know, you need to get the right tools, the right technology to that the business we used as far the commercial nature of the business is concerned. Yes, number six, focus on your customer's relationship. Without customers, there is no business. And without business, there is no revenue. And without revenue, there is no success as far the business is what is concerned. Then you need to build a customer loyalty program because customers are kings. Customers are queens. Did you get that? Without customers, you are not doing anything. There is no business at all. And so you must, you must focus on your customer's relationship, loyalty program to customers, listen to what customers have to say. Do you get that? Because the market is established for your product, for value that you are bringing to the market. Number seven, get networking. Get networking. That is, you have to be involved. You have to involve the social media in your business because there is no business 
in this 21st century that we do without the social media. You need to network. You need to attend seminars. You need to attend trainings. You need to do trade shows. Do you get that? You need to belong to unions. You need to, by, by the time you are doing all of this, you are what networking, build good relationship with other business owners. Did you get that? And so for your business to run smoothly, you need to be involved in networking. Number eight, find out how things work. Find out how things work. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes, you need to find out how things are working. Do you get that? For you to find out how things are working, you must be involved in reading and study concerning the area of specialization. You need to listen to those that have done this kind of business that you are doing. And those people are successful. You need to listen to them and to learn from them. Then you need to observe things without even you making comments. You need to observe how things are, what are moving. Number nine, be sure and be positive always. Be sure and be positive always. Yes, you need to be sure of yourself. You need to believe in yourself. You need to tell yourself, yes, if I can start it, I can make it. And don't even think of negativity as far you are pursuing your goals that you have set. Do you get what I'm saying? Then, to be positive always, you need to have this kind of mindset, abundant mindset, that we always engineer you to focus, to be organized, to move ahead, even with challenges that are trying to pull you down. No, you need to stick and be focused to your goals that you have set, that you have set for yourself. Yes, you need to make plan and really make and really plan very well. You need to set smart goals and achieve them strategically. You need to invest in your employees and yourself. You need to stay organized. You need to improve your technology towards the business. You need to focus on your customers' relationship.